So the trip with the Stewart School has been an um, absolutely wonderful experience. A lot of these students who normally are really um, city grown are able to kind of be disconnected from that for just even just for a day. They have been able to see all kinds of different animals out here. Um, when we were out actually on the canoes, a lot of them were able to actually canoe. Some of them were able to see snakes. Some of them were even able to come up and close to different beavers. It was, it was awesome. It was really fun just cruising along and just seeing all the wildlife. First of all, I'm terrified of canoeing, but like I actually had a lot of fun with my friends at canoeing. It's a cool to experience like just to go down a calm river and really get to know about the wildlife. I learned how helpful the wetlands are for our environment and how they absorb the water when it floods and can expel it when they need water. Is that very much oxygen in the water? Uh, but even if it was 12, is that still, are we still looking at very much oxygen in uh, the water? Mr. Aaron was really good at explaining everything about all the animals and he really inspired me to care a lot more about our environment and what we put into the river. My name is Aaron Bouchard. I work for the James River Association and I've been, them, been with them for almost a year. We love to see the students participating and answering questions. Um, they've been doing a good job at staying focused with the different activities that we've been doing, um, as well as just really immersing themselves in the experience. I never knew we could learn so much about a river, like one single river, and all these really cool species. Like, like I never knew crabs actually lived in the river. I was like, I thought those were only in the ocean. Um, Mr. Aaron told us that erosion was the number one pollution that put in the river. And so if we put riparian buffers on the sides of the river, um, then it will be cleaner. And we can do that by putting veg planting vegetation along the banks of the river. So when we got there, there's piles of oysters. And then she talked about like what kind of different species of like the males and I thought it was pretty cool. And so we started, we had this like big rack and it was filled with like little holes. We started like shuffling them around so we can clean them. And then sooner or later I realized we dumped, into, dumped them into the river so they can be recycled for new oysters. I thought that was really interesting how like that's basically like nature's filter and it helps clean all the water so if, it's, if there's more oysters in the water it could be crystal clear. So one of the main things that we do at the James River Association is educate people and through educating students that come out to visit uh, to visit us on the river, they can go home and they can tell their parents, they can tell their friends about the things they saw, um, the different things they learned in terms of water quality, and also how we impact the river and ways that we can help to improve water quality. It's really good to get the word out there um, to let people, more people be aware of how they can impact the river in a positive way. Um, this experience has taught me to be more aware of my surroundings not to take everything I have for granted because uh, fish are being polluted by us and we need to think more of that. Water is a lot more precious than most people think so we need to use it wisely. I, I really do believe that being more hands-on should definitely be the future and I think that a lot of um, teachers are kind of taking that avenue of being more hands-on and taking more field trips to kind of be more outdoorsy 